Hello everybody, it's Joe here and welcome back to another episode of Transport Fever 2. Today we're back in East Yorkshire where uh, we have got lots to be doing. We've always got lots to be doing in East Yorkshire, haven't we? We're just down at Hull, of course, our main station where a uh, Class 350 has just arrived. We've also got, for the eagle-eyed amongst you, you will have spotted the uh, the Class 801 Azuma, LNER Azuma, uh, which is currently sat here. We have replaced all of the 91s, which won't be popular. Uh, or maybe it will, I don't know, but they are all now Hitachi IEPs, uh, which, uh, or IETs, i.e. Intercity Express. They're Azumas, they're all Azumas, there we go, we've called it by the name. They are much quicker uh, up to speed than the 91s, and they can more or less carry exactly the same amount of passengers. Alright, they can carry a little bit less, but uh, if they're faster, then obviously that's going to mean that we're providing a better service. A lot of people had mentioned... Oh, sounds like the uh, the 350's going. It's got a hell of a loud hustle alarm, hasn't it, that? We have also, what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace this, because I think, if memory serves me right, that we should have a new 155 uh, somewhere. Where are we? Uh, 155. There we go, Northern Trains. Let's, uh, let's have you replaced. Lovely. Somewhere. Where, where is he? Oh, he's there. Look at that. A 155. Bringing the fleet up to date. Look at that. Uh, a couple of people have mentioned about the liveries, and I am I am sorry. I do need to... What on earth's happened here? Why are we... Why are we in a London North Western Railway livery 150? How did that happen? Does anyone remember? Have I accidentally replaced that with... with never mind. Right. Well, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll go for the, uh, the, the 150... Stroke 2, which is right at the top for some reason. Oh, because it's British Rail, that's why. Uh, Northern by Arriva. Do we just have Northern Trains? No, we do not. Ah, ha, ha. Right, Northern Trains, new logo. There we go, so we'll have you. And we will also have a 158 on the back. Where's the Where's the 158? There we go. Northern Trains, lovely. That's going to look weird, I think. Oh, no, it actually doesn't look too bad, does it? Look at that. All right, there we go, we'll keep you. What else have we got? We've got another... Maybe the northern livery disappeared off here for some reason. Uh, but there we go, right. So we're going to have exactly the same again. If I'd have known it was the same train set, I'd have done the same thing. But I'll tell you what, we'll stick a... Uh, stick a 150 stroke 1 on the front there. And a 158 on the back. There we go. Right, okay, northern trains on the back. Lovely. The paces... We'll be remaining in that livery because the Pacers, of course, never saw the new Northern livery. There we go. Look at that. Brilliant. Brilliant stuff. Lovely. Just sort of bringing it a bit more. Because obviously we've got the 196s as well now, down here, in the Northern livery. Uh, what I do want to do is extend the platform. Because as uh, we discovered in the last episode, these trains are too long for the platform. Uh, which, as you can see, is causing an issue. What do we actually have going into this platform? Oh, we do have quite a few services, don't we? That's a bugger. Right. Could we maybe... Because we might not need to actually do anything. What we could do is see how we get on with this. So we're going to go into the train construction. Right, we're going we're gonna to do this. Right. Configure. So I'm going to take this bit of ceiling off, there we go, right, and that bit, right, okay, so, this is, bit of platform there, there we go, right, and then we'll, we'll get rid of this, there we go, right, because that's obviously just a bit of track between, and then we're going to do exactly the same at this side, Get rid of the ceiling, yeah. Get rid of that platform and that piece of track. Oh, hang on, no, I didn't mean to get rid of the platform. Never mind. Right, back to platforms. Yep. Where are we? Come on, please still be here. Yes, the platform is still here. It's just a different colour. Ignore that. <laughs> We're going to put a new bit of track in. There we go. We'll put that track in there. So we'll just move the blank spot up, if that makes sense. So if I go in here now... Track, yeah. Uh, right, bit of that. Uh, yeah, 25, lovely. And then we'll, yeah, you see that's got the little fence, hasn't it? Right, back into here. Misc, because we should have the hull, the hull, the, the hull, there, hull. 
Lovely. There we go. Right, our canopy is back on. Though for some reason that bit is different to this bit. Why is why is that bigger? Does anyone know? Is that because there's no platform there? Ah, right, okay. I have no idea. But for some reason, it's not registering that as a platform. Oh, come on, don't do this to me. It was working so well. My plan was, was brilliant. Let's, let's try again, see if maybe if we close the menu, maybe it's a little bug. No. What's, what's, well, why can't we put it there now? Right, hang on, we'll delete all of the roof. Hole in the middle. There we go, and, and there. Why are you not letting me build there? Can we, can we delete that? Hull. All right, do you know what? We're just going to leave it with a hole in the roof. Yep, I know that that's going to drive some people bonkers. Right, are you are you going to pull down? Aha! There we go. Problem solved. And because it's bang in the middle, hopefully we should still fit the 180 at that end of the platform because obviously that's where the whole train services stop. But that's good because that is now on the move. Hull to Hornsey shuttle has left nine people behind, but they're quick trains, aren't they? There'll be another one due shortly. Just, you know, sort of any time now. What else? What, what speed do we come out of uh, here at? Let's have a look. 25, right? Okay, can we get a little bit of 25 over there? Because that would make sense, wouldn't it? If we could just... Just a bit of that. Yeah, lovely. So that anything that went in there could go straight back out. Why have we got nothing in on this platform? This seems strange to me. Then what we'll do, right, hull to Hornsey shuttle. At hull, you can actually go in on six as well. Hang on, where's six? No, not six. Four. Why can't you get back out? Of course you can. Hull, elevator. Yeah, you, you can do that. Why is it kicking off? Oh, do you know what? We'll we'll just not bother. We'll just not bother. Oh, look, here comes another one. A hold to with and see. Doing well. This is like their executive platform, isn't it, down here, where everyone sort of gathers. There'll be another one shortly behind that, because he's, uh, yeah, there we go. Look at that. Hull to Hornsey shuttle full again. But it's good that they're all on the same platform, isn't it? Uh, as for this, this is, uh, yeah, this is a problem, isn't it? Let's have a look at the old terminal, sort of. Uh, yeah, yeah. Three on platform four. How about platform five? Right. Five, six, and seven are all trams. Where's platform eight? Terminal eight. Right, that's trams in there as well, isn't it? Right, hang on. We got anywhere else? Terminal nine, ten, eleven. Where's twelve? Twelve, thirteen. What have we got around there? There. Are they stops? I don't know. Twelve. Oh, it's not popping up now. Come on. Let's, let's have a look. So we've got 12 down there. 13 and 14. These like... What's that? that that's fueling. Oh, so I like the fact that you can get the buses to go around and fuel. That's that's pretty good. What have we got on 1 and 2? Right, so we've got nobody coming in on, on stand 2. Right, there we go. You go down on stand 2. We've also got nobody on stand one. We don't seem to have a lot of buses, do we? What? What? Are we? Uh, yeah, right. Let's let's just see if we can get the buses to spread out a little bit. That would be good because at this moment in time there is quite a queue. That is a, a substantial queue, isn't it? I was going to say where have all my Eclipse Urbans gone, but I uh, I forget we don't actually have any Eclipse Urbans running into the bus station, do we? Right, there we go. Are you uh, are you performing? Oh, there we go. Right, a bus is actually coming round now that's not joining this queue. So that's good. What are you? You're the Hull to Ellaby bus. There's a few of them that go round there as well that sort of, yeah, don't really get why. To be honest with you, why they can't just go round and... But that does seem to be working a bit better now. The trams are all, uh, well, I don't know if, what the trams are doing to be honest with you, but, you know, they, they seem to be running apart. Obviously, that'll be a clockwise and that'll be an anti-clockwise. See, this this sort of 
the terminal idea here was absolutely brilliant, apart from the fact that there's not actually that many bus stands. It looks big, you know, and there looks to be a lot going on, but yeah, this, this very much isn't sort of... It's not efficient, is it, by any, any stretch of the imagination? I, I imagined it to sort of have other roads coming out here. Uh, I mean, we can, can we configure it? No, we can't. That's annoying. The only thing we can change is whether it's got catenary or not. Oh. Ah, right, he's moving across. Lovely. I mean, to be fair, we'll just leave it for now. I mean, it seems to be doing well. There's not a massive amount of people queuing for the buses, which is fine. Uh, the York to Hull Express... Is, uh, is doing well as well. I mean, where have we... I can hear in a zoomer. Can't see one. There we go. 110 out of 206. There we go. Look at that. It's, uh, it's looking brilliant. I'm glad that we can, uh, in inverted commas, modernise the fleet. It's, uh, it's quite nice, isn't it? I like that screenshot. Go on. Don't let me down. That is a beautiful screenshot, isn't it? I like the northern train in the background. That that just looks really, really good. Obviously, these are standing in for class 195s. And they do fit on the platform, don't they? Which is always nice as well when, you, when your new train, your swanky new train actually fits. Right, off you pop. This is, a, yeah, this is a problem as well, isn't it? Look at how dirty that is. Tell you what we'll do. Because obviously this... I guess, do you know what? We'll do exactly the same. We'll go for electric. Have we got... No, we haven't got a 331, have we? Ooh, that's a problem. I was going to say we will replace this with a uh, with a one of with a diesel, a northern 195 type thing. But obviously that's not going to work, is it? Right, you can carry 80. What can we actually have of you? We could, we could have another... We could have a 350. And you see, that's not going to work, is it? A 377. It's going to look slightly odd. No point replacing it with a 317. And obviously the Grand Central isn't going to work either. Right, we'll leave that as it is for now then, because it seems to be working. Right, I'm going to uh, I'm going to go into the York Hull service. These are all 158s, so we shall replace these with the... Uh, hang on, where are we? Uh, 158. Uh, people were asking... Oh, no, that's a 159. Hang on. Get it right, Joe. Come on. Uh, right, there we go. Northern Trains. Lovely. Look at that. All branded up and raring to go. I think that logo's a tad stretched, but uh, but if you ignore that... The problem with this is that it does sort of drain the life from our railways. The colours... You know, we used to have so many nice colours, didn't we? And now all the trains are just white. They're all a bit meh. You know, I, I like a good colourful livery. Like this whole trains, for example. That's just so bright and in your face, isn't it? What have we got there? Transpennine. Full 350. I do like how these guys just get on with it, don't they? You know, they're, they're whizzing up and down. It's such a... Uh, oh, wow, look, another one. They do run it. It's a very frequent service, isn't it, down here? Since we've got all this additional track, it does seem quite quiet, doesn't it? The, uh, the, <laughs> the, you know, we used to have just queues of trains, whereas now it's just so efficient that, that there's not really a lot of trains. There's not a lot happening, is there? Oh, okay. He uh, he speaks too soon. I can hear a 170. I can't see it. Oh, look at that. The 170 is whizzing past. Cross country 170 there, lovely, lovely stuff. I and mean, obviously, when he gets past that signal, it's quite a long signal block, isn't it? That that's a really long signal block. That's stupidly long. Where's the where's the next signal? Why have we Why is he not gone? There's a signal there. Is he waiting for something else? Oh, he is. Wow, he's waiting for the uh, for the express to come past as well. 
That's brilliant. I love it. How many of these have we actually got running? Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go for two of these. I'm going to replace these. See if this is going to work. Right, okay. Diesel, 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 diesel. Right, Hitachi IEP on diesel. We'll replace them with TPE ones. There we go. So there'll be... I mean, that is a TPE one there, isn't it? Is it? I mean, I think you can hear a, a slight, slight bit of diesel on there. But this will be running on diesel mode. So we've got two of these, which, uh, do we actually have the timetable? Let's have a look. Have we got the timetable for the Hull to Selby Express? Uh, train, Hull to Selby Express. Unbunch time, 5.21. Right, we're going to go with six minutes. We're going to run these less frequently. Six minutes, so that they'll sort of sit at each end of the map, waiting. Waiting to go. But, oh, look at that. Alongside the 350, that does look quite excellent. Looks too new though, doesn't it? The 350s look a bit sort of more run in. But yeah, these will now sort of take up a bit of bit of time at the end, but it means that there's only one 180, because hull trains don't actually run that many services, do they? You know, there's an hourly transpennine, but the hull trains are what are they every two hours? I'm I'm not too sure to be honest with you. But it just means that these are gonna sort of there'll be one 180, so it'll be a bit more rare. And then a couple of TPEs filling in. That'll do. And for those Hitachi lovers, you know, we've we've got them going now. That's that's good. Hang on, where where are you? Oh, there's a signal here, isn't there? Somewhere. Yeah, it's just about there. Wow, these are these are quite bunched down here. The York to Hull Express. Right, let's let's just go on the timetable there, because that seems to be York to uh, Hull Express. Bunch time. Right, tell you what, we're going to go for six minutes there as well. Yeah, because they are uh, they are all bunching, aren't they? There we go, six minutes. It's like being at Leeds, isn't it? One out, one in. Look how much quicker that is, though, than the... Uh... I mean, it's going to stick at 30, isn't it? Because it's 30 out of here. It's so much quicker than the 91s. That's probably why the uh, the unbunch time isn't working anymore, because they're getting a lot quicker. I wonder how it'll fare up this hill as well. Yeah, the MMC's going there. Plenty of passengers on. 11 out of 45. It's not bad, to be honest with you, for an intercity bus. Oh, 350 coming in now. And another 350 shortly behind. I mean, that's doing 57. That is really, really good, to be fair, compared to what we have had. Buses are bunched down there as well. There's a uh, there's a hell of a lot of bunching, isn't there? I mean, that's going to be quicker to 125 as well, isn't it? Let's have a zoom out, see if there's anything else. Look at all the bread. Well, we've got hull to ghoul, tools and food. Do you know what? I think we might actually... Oh, hang on, Beverly. What's that? That's the that's taking tools and... Yeah, I think we might actually be coming to, you know, sort of near the end of this series, folks. I mean, it's got to the point, hasn't it? We're more or less in modern day. Well, we are in modern day. We're two years ago. But everything seems to be running pretty well. And, uh, you know, there's not actually that much more to do. So I think that the end of this series is on the horizon. I don't know if it's quite finished just yet. We might have a couple more things to do. Mm, I don't know. I don't know. I, I feel like, you know, it's one of those, it's sort of become a bit of a project now, hasn't it? Everything is so brilliant that we, we don't really have an awful lot to fix. Or I don't think we do anyway. Some of you will be like, yeah, Joe, we've been saying to fix this for ages and you've still not done it. Um... But yeah, other than little things like adding a couple of bus stops here maybe so that these two, York and Merton, can uh, can merge into one. York hasn't actually expanded over here as much as I thought it would. I thought that that had sort of come out and... I mean, the roads are building, but obviously there's just no buildings building. 
Um, I guess there's probably no point when it's easier for it to go this way towards Merton. But what I might do is uh, is stick a stick a road in there just to sort of encourage growth. I don't know if it will happen, to be honest with you, but uh, there we go. We'll stick a road in. Build it up like that. You can come to there. And then this can sort of go round like that. And, and just sort of connect up to encourage buildings to sort of build. And and he destroys one. There we go. We'll, we'll sort of put a, put a bit more like that. Just, just make it a bit of that. Yeah, that's lovely. That can then come round there with that sort of... You know, that's that's just to make it hopefully try and actually build something. That can then go on to there. I don't know if it will, but, you know, it's one of them. But, yeah, it, it's everything just seems pretty awesome, doesn't it? Like, I, I feel like we're just sort of building for building's sake now. I mean, you could argue that's just what transport fever is in the first place. But, uh, but yeah, it's it's one of them. Um, oh, hang on, there's a hell of a lot of bricks. Oh, no, that's just there. See, again, even there, the, the trucks are doing their job, aren't they? I mean, that carries 32. There's 49 waiting. What do you carry? 52. There's 29 waiting. So even though it seems like at a lot of these places we've got a lot. Of, I mean, what are we actually delivering? Are we, are we delivering all the goods? We are delivering all the goods to Hull. Hornsey, yeah, just wants food. With and see, still hasn't got any fuel, but I think we're sort of maxed out at capacity for fuel, aren't we? Driffield is getting absolutely nothing. So there's still... Still a couple of little bits to do, but like I say, it's it's one of them. I think we're actually producing that much. Look at these go. This is... Uh, wow, this is still using a 56. With 340, there's 203 left behind. There's actually only two of these bad boys. Right, let's have a look. Can we uh, can we upgrade? Wow, look at that. Look at him go. The, uh, the Hitachi over there, 125 mile an hour. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting distracted now by flashy, fast trains. That's very impressive, isn't it? Now, where have you gone? Don't think I've forgotten you. Uh, we could actually do with... I mean, what have we got? So the 56 actually is like... The, it, they were turned into Class 69s, weren't they? So we could actually... I know it's EWS. Uh, right, hang on. I'm just going to go for the whole edit tool. Because even though it'll say the train's really, really old when in fact it's not. Where's the... Where's the train gone now? Right, we'll add the 69 in. There we go. So that's... There we go. Right, so that should be... Let's, let's see how that's... Oh, it sounds like a 66. But that's yeah, it's more or less the same trend. We we could actually just say that they uh, you know they'd lost the contract, couldn't we? Where's the other one? Is the other one on its way back? There it is. Where does this go? The iron ore. Oh, it goes down to this steel place. Right, I'm with you. This is actually wow. There's you see this is producing so much. It's storing a lot of it. Because it can't produce it quick enough. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Well, when I uh, when I actually have finished with this series, which, do you know what, people? Uh, oh, you see, even then, that is wanting so much more. I mean, what what are you? You're the uh, you're the you're the chap for the job. But there's there's more than you can take. We could actually probably just make them longer. Could we... Uh, is he going to fit? Yes, of course he's going to fit. How many more could we actually fit on? He's going to fit there as well, isn't he? How how long is that? Oh, no, hang on. That might not fit on. No, he's not going to fit, is he? If uh, Hang on. What, what's going on here? Whatever happened to using more than one platform? See, if he fits on there, we can just add more onto his onto his length, can't we? Oh, of course he's going to fit. My sort of spatial awareness is really, really bad recently. Right, add <laughs> more vehicles on. So, cargo wagons, what are we using? We're using the, uh, right, the race somewhere. I could get this search. Ah, there we go. Right, 
centre. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Right, hang on. So is that the end? One, two, three, four, five. I don't know where the rear one is. I don't know. Never mind. Right, we've added added five more on. Does that mean it won't have the light on the back? Right, there we go. So that chap up there now has not fully loaded. Never mind. How many did we have left over? We had quite a few. So yeah, this is obviously going to bring more. That's... Uh, yeah, that, that is good news. And it actually fits on the platform, which is excellent. What have we got here? You're, you're to take some steel away, aren't you? 195. We're not actually making that much. Wrestle steel. Where do you actually go? So you go all the way up here. There's plenty of goods waiting. Wow, look at all those goods. Can we can we edit more vehicles onto there? How long are you? You're 222 metres. You can carry 250 goods. Oh, right, okay. Is he actually due soon? That's just plastic we need more of, isn't it? Plenty of plastic waiting. Yeah, it's one of them. We're always going to struggle for the oil because there's just not enough oil on the map. All right, this chap's actually... Do you know what? 250, then. We've got it down to a fairly good sort of... Oh, 350. It's a brilliant noise. And see, that's doing 100 mile an hour by there. The 91s wouldn't have been doing 100 mile an hour by there, would they? And I do like the 91s. In real life, I prefer them. You know, I much, much prefer them. Not just prefer, much, much prefer them to uh, to the Hitachi sets. But uh, but yeah, unfortunately, they are faster, aren't they? And that's going to make us more money. Look at him go on the horizon. Doesn't he look good? Doesn't he look good? All right, so 250, 270 waiting there. That's absolutely fine by me. Right, well, do you know what, people? Uh, yeah, it's the end of the series. I never thought I'd say that. Well, I did think I'd say that because everything has to end eventually, doesn't it? But yeah, we have made so, so much progress on this. I am going to, if I can remember how, upload a, uh, a map to the workshop with all of the mods on. Uh, however, of course, if the Eclipse hasn't been released then the Eclipse, you'll have to replace that with something else. Um, I could possibly do a, a list of mods. I don't actually know how you do that. Do you just have to go through and literally say everything that you've used? I don't know. Maybe I'll do a list or maybe I'll just upload it to the workshop and when you click subscribe, it'll give you a big long list of things to subscribe. To, I, I don't know. I don't know. But uh, yeah, thank you so, so much for watching over the course of the series. I do hope you have enjoyed it. East Yorkshire is finally coming to a close. We will be back next Wednesday with another Transport Fever 2 series so uh, I'm sure you'll all let me know in the comments what you would like to see I have got a one uh, I have got one in mind already uh, but yeah we shall uh, we shall see so yeah thank you so so much for watching ladies and gentlemen uh, yeah do click the like button final like of the East Yorkshire series and uh, do consider subscribing if you think this series has been brilliant and you want to see the next series we will be starting a new series as I say that will be next Wednesday other than that thank you so 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 much for watching three so's this time and uh, yeah hopefully I'll see you all next time Cheerio! Goodbye for now.